गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन क्लास एट मैथ चैप्टर नंबर एट कंपेयरिंग क्वांटिटीज दिस इज अ पार्ट वन फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज रेशो रेशो मींस इट इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ अ कंपेयरिंग हाउ वी कंपेयर द नंबर्स इन आवर लाइफ वी कंपेयर द नंबर्स लाइक फाइंडिंग स्मॉलेस्ट नंबर बिगेस्ट नंबर अरेंजिंग इन असेंडिंग डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर दिस इज अ वन टाइप ऑफ कंपेयरिंग बट Finding ratio is a very different type of comparing. How? See here. Suppose in class eighth, number of boys equals to twenty-two, and number of girls equals to eighteen. So. We note down here number of boys and number of girls. Number of boys are twenty-two. Number of girls are eighteen. So how can we compare that? How much? How many? How much time the number of boys of number of girls? How much time of number of boys to number of girls? Or how much time number of girls to number of boys? It means there are two things: boys and girls. Comparing of one object respect to other object, this is called different type of comparing, and the name is ratio. How? See here, <coughs> ratio of number of boys to girls equals to. So first of all, we have the like number of boys. So number of boys are twenty-two. Ratio. This is the sign of ratio. Column sign. This is the sign of ratio. Two number of girls. So eighteen. So if number of girls are is eighteen, then number of boys are twenty-two. Let's we simplify. Twenty-two upon eighteen. Twenty-two ratio eighteen. We can write twenty-two upon eighteen. And simplification of fraction. Dividing by a common factor. What is the common factor? Two. So we divide by two. Twenty-two divided by two eleven. Eighteen divided by two nine. Eleven ratio nine. So this is the simplest form and simplest ratio. So eleven ratio nine is showing that if number of boys eleven, number of boys are eleven is eleven. Two number of girls nine. It means if they are in a class nine girls, then number of boys are eleven. Let's take another form of this comparing. Ratio of number of girls to boys. This time we are comparing number of girls to number of boys. It means with respect to number of boys. So first we write here girls, then boys, then by how many girls? Eighteen. Ratio. How many boys? Twenty-two. So you can see the ratio is can change. First ratio was twenty-two ratio eighteen in same question, but now the ratio is eighteen ratio twenty-two. Now again we simplify eighteen upon twenty-two. Simplify divided by two. Same method. Nine upon eleven. And the ratio can be written as again nine upon eleven can be written as nine ratio eleven. <coughs> It means number ratio of number of girls to boys is nine ratio to eleven. It means if there are eleven boys, then number of girls is nine. So this this is called ratio, and this is the another way of comparing of number or quantity of two objects. Which are same time, like this is the related to number of boys and girls. 
Now we want to compare, suppose, <coughs> weight of A object is 5 kg, 50 kg, and weight of B object is 20 kg. 20 kg. Right? So, ratio of weight of we have to tell what uh, of what thing it is ratio. Ratio of weight. So, weight, ratio of weight of A to B is equals to A to B means A 50 kg ratio 20 kg. And there is no unit of ratio, remember. Simplify 50 upon 20 divided by common factor 10, you will get 5 upon 2 and 5 ratio 2. So 5 ratio 2 is the answer, is the ratio of weight of A to B. A to B, 5 ratio 2. Now we are finding ratio of weight of B to A. What is the weight of B? 20 kg. 20 ratio. What is the weight, weight of A? 50. 20 upon 50. Right? 20 ratio 50. You write B first. So you will write weight of B first. You write A second. Then you have to write A weight of A second time. Simplify, divide by 10, you will get 2 upon 5 and you will write 2 ratio 5. So you can see the ratio of weight of A to B. A to B is 5 ratio 2 and B to A is 2 ratio 5. It means the sequence is very important in the ratio. So I think you have understood how to find the ratio, what is the meaning of ratio, what is the method to find the ratio, how different type we can find the ratio. So do practice. Let's take another topic which is percentage. So what do you mean by percentage? I think in earlier classes you have understood. The meaning of percentage is that out of 100. Simply. The mean by percentage mean mean out of 100. Suppose you get 120 marks out of 250 marks. There is a question pattern of 250 marks, you got 120 marks. So, we have to find how much percentage marks you have got. So, percentage of marks equals to how much marks you got? 120 upon how much? Out of how much? 250. Right? Now, you have to write here 100 upon 100. And this is cancelled out. 25, 125, 25, 4 is 100 and 12, 4 is 48. 48 into 1 upon 100. And 1 upon 100 is written as percentage. 
So 48% marks you have got. It's very simple. 100 by 100, you have to multiply 100 by 100, but you have to separate 1 upon 100 as a percentage. Or simply you can write here in another way, like this. 120 upon 250 in 200 percentage. This is also right. Because percentage means 1 upon 100 out of 100. So, on the 1 up, again, 25 on the, 25 4 the, 4 12 the, 48 percent. So, these are two ways that it is easy. So, but you have to write here percentage starting in the calculation. So, how find percentage of given mass or any other data? Suppose there are 50 out of 70. So, 50 upon 70 into 100 percentage. 0 cancel. 500 upon 7 percentage. You can divide the decimal, you can find, right? So, in this way, you have to find the percentage of the given marks. Right? Now we understand about the next topic. Increase and decrease percentage. Increase or decrease percentage. Increase or decrease percentage you have to understand here. What is mean by increase? The mean by incre increase means how much marks you have, how much marks you have increased. Suppose in earlier exam you got 10 out of 20. In this mark exam you have got 15 out of 20. 15 out of 20. In first exam, you get 10 out of 20. Second exam, you get 15 out of 20. So, how can we find the percentage, decrease or increase percentage that we have to understand? So, first of all, you have to find the difference of marks. Difference of marks equals to 15 minus 10, 5. Now, we will find in percentage increase marks. 5 marks increase, 5 out of 20, paper is 20 into 100 percent. 5 minus 5, 5 for the 20, 425 sir. 25 into 1, 25 percentage. It means you have scored well, you have increased your marks 25 percent. 25 percent marks you have increased. Right? <clears throat> now we have to understand about the decrease percentage. Suppose the price of an object, the, <coughs> the price of an object is rupees 150. Suppose 
the prime of the object is object is rupees 150 after some days <coughs> price of object change and it decrease it decrease as suppose it become 100 decrease this is the case of decrease percentage so how much percent the price decrease that is the question so we will find price decrease equals to first price was 150 now 100 is equals to 50 rupees so 50 rupees is the difference but we have to find how much price decrease in percentage so price decrease price decrease in percentage equals to 50 out of now first price was 150 always you take first price right 150 Into hundred percentage, fifty one ja fifty fifty three ja one fifty hundred upon three hundred upon three is equals to thirty three point three three percentage. So the price of object was decreased thirty three point three three percentage. So this is the how you have understood how increase and decrease percentage, and you have to first find the difference of the data then. You have to find in percentage. In percentage, we have understood. Now we learn next topic, which is a discount. In mar in market newspaper, you have here that seventy percent discount. You have seen a board seventy percent. Discount. <coughs> What is the meaning of the discount? What is the meaning of the discount? So there, whenever object, there are two types of price. One is mark price, which you see on the label. Price tag. You have seen on the price tag rupees one thousand. And one is selling price, sale price, actual price, sale price. So suppose there are a seventy percent discount on an object, on a, any item, and the label mark price is one thousand rupees. Then what is the sale price? Is the actual selling price, or what is the actual selling price of the object? <coughs> So first of all, we will find seventy percent of rupees one thousand. Seventy into seventy upon hundred into one thousand. So whenever you are finding a percentage given, and you have to find how much. So you have to write seventy upon hundred. Seventy percent means seventy into percent means one upon hundred. Already we have understood. So this is seventy upon hundred, right? So seventy upon hundred double zero cancel. So it becomes seventy into ten equal to seven hundred. So the discount discount seventy percent of rupees one thousand is seven hundred, right? So seven hundred rupees discount you will get on the price mark price. Now. We have to find actual selling price. So, sell price equals to mark price minus discount. Discount is always subtract, never add. So, what is the mark price? One thousand minus what is the discount we have found? 
so 1000 minus 100 300 so 300 rupees is the sell price after after discount so rupees 300 so you have understood how we found how we calculate discount when we have given mark price how we found discount amount how we found actual sale price so this is the formula to find the sale price after finding discount after finding discount so you have understood in this part fun how can we understand what is the meaning of ratio what is the meaning of percentage what is the meaning how to find the increase decrease percentage what is the how to find the discount what is the meaning of discount in next part we will meet again thank you